Okay, so in this video, um, I'm just going ahead and throwing this out there because I'm going to show, I'm going to post videos for what I just recorded at the beginning and then the end um, to for as far as like delegation tips. But I'll go ahead and I might as well show you the middle just in case you're curious. Uh, this isn't necessarily a video for delegating. You can if you want, but this is a little more uh, higher level. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, we need to figure out where we're going to place this implant. Um, and I usually like to wax it up at virtually and so add a tooth here. Now this one's broken, so I can mess use this. But anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the maxillary anatomy and I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to change the color just so it's, well, so I can see the differences. And I'm going to hide it. Um, that one's just kind of a backup, so it's still there in case I need it. Now, I'm going to cut this tooth out. Now, one of the problems is if I cut, it's going to cut everything behind this. Like, if I draw a line right here, everything behind there is going to get cut. Let me cross this over so it doesn't cut. It'll give me an error. Um, but this tooth would have got cut at the same time. Technically, it probably doesn't matter because my guide's not going to reach over to that second molar. But to keep, you know, to keep yourself from doing that, it is easier if you cut from the lingual view. Um, plus, the tissue on the lingual is usually higher up the crown of the tooth than the buccal. So if you cut this way, sometimes you end up cutting the lingual tissue and you're, you think you're going to see it better than it actually does. So I can tip this right here and I can hold the shift button. When I'm in this, you see when I hold the shift button, it turns into a cursor. And I can grab this. I'm cutting just shy of the tooth. I'm going to let go of the shift button, now let go of the cursor. Um, again, I don't mind leaving a little bit of tooth surface in there because that's going to make sure that it definitely fits. And that's fine. I'll get this little extra piece right here just because that's a bit distracting and I guess technically will create a little hole in the guide. Um, but there we go. So that's good. So now I can go ahead and minimize that, and let's plan our implant. Now this is an immediate implant. This might not actually go. I'm going to take this tooth out, and I'm going to make a decision at the time of surgery whether I'm actually going to place this implant or not. Um, but I'm going to have the guide ready so that I'm good to go, and if I, you know, we'll just see. So I'm going to go ahead and place it here. Now I could add a virtual tooth to this. I'm not going to because... I can quickly just turn this on and now I've got a virtual tooth. And I don't have the buckle cusp, but I'm pretty sure we can guesstimate about where the crown tooth should be, the implant should be pretty accurately. So let's go ahead and look at this view. Let's maximize this. You can see where he's, you know, you can see the buckle is fractured in the distal here. And I'm going to try to poke, you know, give myself the ability to go right up in here um, for an extra little bone engagement. And now let's roll around and see where we're at. I would say we're maybe a little too lingual because this is actually the center of the tooth. And now we're in the center of the frickle bone. Give us as much uh, bone engagement as we can. It's also coming right down the buccal cusp, which makes me you know, confident I'm right in the central pit of the tooth. It's just spinning around. And that was a pretty darn easy placement. Now what I do need to do is turn on the hint because that tells me, or can help me if it's an edentulous model, the contacts. Now that I don't really have that in this one. Um, because it's um, you know not already missing, meaning I like to have the implant parallel the adjacent contacts. Uh, that just tells me that a screw retained crown is going to be easy. This is a pretty much a slam dunk case as far as planning. Again, whether it actually works out in surgery based on the extraction socket, we'll see. I'm pretty confident it will, but um, I'll, if not, I'll hold on the guide and it might still work. Now, one thing I am noticing is there's this bone distal bony defect based on you know whatever reason he's had this bone loss and that's got me almost you know if we draw a line here from this bone or this area to this area I'm practically equal crestal and if you've watched any of my cases um, or videos you know that's not something I'm really excited about um, I like to be subcrestal and uh, so I'm going to place this a little bit deeper, and I'm going to plan on doing a little sinus bump here. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm just going to use my arrow keys on my ma on my keyboard to go a bit deeper. And one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, I'm going to add an abutment, and I'm going to select abutment, and down here this is my go-to. This is because I'm going I'm to use scan with my CEREC, and this tie base gets me above the bone whereas the implant is below the bone. That's what I'm looking for. I, I like to try to avoid having the ceramic of the Emacs or whatever in contact with the bone if I can. Um, but, you know, here's the bone level. We're pretty much equal buccal lingual, and, you know, we'll still graft over top of it, just bury this implant in bone. 
Now, because I'm right at the cr at the floor of the sinus, I can I'm actually going to drill this full, place the implant, and probably just com continue to push you know to keep threading it in until I feel like you know it's uh, at the depth I want. Um, I don't think I need to do an actual sinus lift in this one, but it's kind of a sinus bump by just pressing upward. Um, but let me evaluate. Is that s a true septum? What is that? Yeah, it's not an actual sept. Okay, good deal. So, um, <coughs> so there we go. The implant's plan. I'm gonna come over to implant. I don't like this one. I don't usually use that unless it's a full large case. So I'm gonna delete that to hide that one. Okay, turn on the guide tube. This is gonna be a fully guided uh, case. Looks like the tube is fairly well embedded, so I'm just going to I'm going to right click on this, and I'm going to say um, rate where is the guide tube. I'm going to raise it, and it comes up two millimeters because it knows that the next implant option is a ten millimeter implant, whereas this is a um, I plan it for an eight millimeter. I'm just going to use my t eight ten millimeter drill for full length uh, drilling. All right, and I'm going to change this to five point one. Change this to 4.0. Change this to 10.5. It's up, up from 8 to 10, but we need the extra 0.5 because I'm doing sleeveless. I'm not going to be using a metal tube. I'm just going to print this hole directly in the guide. Okie doke. So pretty simple. Implant is planned. You can see um, right here I'm at the six minute mark and I'm you know, dictating what I'm doing here. So you can see that the actual planning process should be about a six minute plan. Um, you know, if I look at it from this view, I could see that this maybe could tilt a little bit this way. And let me see what that did to my plan. Not much. Maybe swing it in just a little, keep it a little more centered. And let's look. It's one of those changes I'm making on the fly right here that, like, is it really necessary? Probably not. But I'm looking at this image and gets me start to think. And what you think, the more time you kind of waste on the computer. And if you look, this patient's actually sort of constricted, tipped in. Um, so I'm gonna actually I'm gonna undo that because I just don't like that. I'm hitting Control Z to undo it. Um, I think that this is more the long axis of chewing, straight up and down. So my screw hole will be maybe favoring the buckle aspect. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's a little too buckle. Okay, I'm just going to redo all those, those edits I made, <coughs> and I'll be finished with it. I don't even know what all edits I made. I'm just hitting forward arrow so I don't have to think about it again. Now we're done. Okay, so there's the implant coming right through that area. Okay, good deal. Um, certainly going to be a manageable case. Implant looks good. All right. So now everything else can pretty much be done here. I'm going to go implant just to make sure. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, stop recording now, and I'm going to pick up at the end. So this can be th this next part can be the video for uh, delegation. All right.